Today I'm going to show you how to create a Game Pass in Roblox with the latest update. This process is very simple and works perfectly on all devices, whether you're using a phone, tablet, or computer. No matter what device you're on, you can follow these steps. The first thing we need to do is open the Roblox homepage just like you normally would. After that, we need to click on the More option, which is represented by the three dots. Now, once we're on the main page, we need to focus on the Create button. After clicking the three dots, you should see this option. If you're on a mobile device or tablet, you might not immediately see it. In that case, you'll need to click on the three lines in the top left corner, and from the drop-down menu, click on Creations. Once you click on Creations, it will open a new page where you'll see all your creations. If you already have a map, which is the area in Roblox where you can build or place items, you can simply click on the map you want to add the Game Pass to. If you haven't created a map yet, this step won't work, and you'll need to make sure you've created a map first. After selecting your map, it will open up to a page where you can make changes. You'll see an option to create a Game Pass. To do this, click on the Create Pass button, which will take you to another page. Once you're there, you'll see an option labeled Change. This is where you can upload the image for your Game Pass. For instance, if you want to use a t-shirt image or any other image, you can upload it here. It's totally up to you to choose whatever image fits your game. Once you've chosen the image, you'll be asked to name your Game Pass. You can name it whatever you want. For example, you might want to name it something like Exclusive T-Shirt or VIP Access. You can also name it in any language that you prefer. This gives you the flexibility to make it unique and personal to your game. Once you've uploaded the image and set the name, click on the Create Pass button to proceed. After a few seconds, the page will load and save the changes you made. Once the page reloads, you'll see the Game Pass you just created. Next, you need to set the price for your Game Pass. To do this, click on Sales, and then click on the option labeled Item for Sale. By clicking this, you can set a price for the Game Pass that you just created. This is an important step, because without setting a price, the Game Pass will not be available for purchase by other players. Keep in mind that Roblox takes a 30% commission on all sales, so you'll only receive 70% of the total earnings. For example, if you set the price at 4,000 Robux, Roblox will take 30% and you'll receive 2,800 Robux. This commission system ensures that Roblox maintains the platform, but it still allows you to earn a good amount from your creations. Once you've set your price, it's time to save everything. Click on the Save Changes button and the system will save your settings. After that, you'll see a confirmation message that everything has been updated. You can now move on to the next part, checking if your Game Pass shows up correctly in the game. Let's head over to Roblox and check if the Game Pass is visible. Once you enter your game, you should see your Game Pass in the donation map, or whatever map you're using for your game. Go ahead and visit one of the stands in your game and check if your Game Pass shows up for sale. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see your Game Pass available for players to buy. The good thing about setting up multiple price options is that you give players more flexibility. You can set a range of prices, such as low, medium, and high amounts, so players who want to donate or purchase can easily find a price that works for them. This method is super simple and works great with the latest Roblox update. If any new updates come out, I'll make sure to share the new methods with you. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I'll be uploading new tips, free Roblox items, and even more tutorials to help you make the best out of your Roblox experience. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer and assist you with any problems you might have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.